and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shivana dragons. That's right, we have a new Shivana. Now, before Shivana was just a 4 mana 4-4 four, four dragon. Now, Shivana is a 3-4 but has fury. And I honestly think that that's an upgrade on Shivana because all we have to do is have Shivana kill something and then it gets that plus one, plus one because it, like whenever it has fury, grant me plus one, plus one. And so then it turns into a four, five, which is better than a four, four. If we kill something else, now it's a five, six and so on. I think fury is a, a good keyword and I think it's worth losing one power to be able to gain that keyword. All right, but... We do need Shivana to kill stuff, right? Because we want it to grow. So since we need it to kill stuff, now we're going to be playing this Dragon Chow. This is going to be my first time actually playing Dragon Chow. And so this works perfectly with Shivana because whenever you play a dragon, it strikes me, you draw a card. So now we this is basically one mana, give your dragon plus one, plus one because of the fury and draw a card. But then it also helps towards Shivana's level up. You know, that like starts the first three towards the level up. So that's really nice. So this is a perfect combination. So we're going to be playing that. You may notice that we're going to be playing three single combat and three strafing strike because fight spells are going to be really important with Shivana now as well with the Fury. Again, you want to kill stuff. So you want to have like these fight spells that can um, both level up your Shivana and also kill smaller things and with Fury make Shivana larger. So I think that's going to be pretty important too. So we got a bunch of those. Um, and that should be pretty fun. So we have been facing a lot of aggro today. We got two Radiant Guardians in here. Um, these are all, Radiant Guardians are also amazing with fight spells. So like, this is another card that really incentivizes you to play fight spells. I wanted to find room for a third, but I'm only playing two because I wanted to get all these other cool dragons in here. But if it, like a card like the Infinite Mind Splitter, if this is a card that you don't really need, that can be a third Radiant Guardian. I just, I've always had a, a soft spot for in Violas Fox, but that can also be a third Radiant Guardian instead. So maybe we should be playing three over one of these, but, you know, I wanted to play all of those. Whoa, Bear Turkey with a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Another brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all are amazing. Thank you, Bear Turkey. All right, so uh, there we go. So that's, that's going to be our deck. It's going to be uh, dragons. We got a lot of two drops. Um, we have, you know, like Dragon Guard Lieutenant, which is, is good interaction. We got Researcher, which is good blocker that gives us another dragon. And then Herald the Dragons to help ramp into those dragons. Not really doing too much on the three mana slot. I wanted to play Grand Plaza, but it ended up getting cut as I got down to 40 cards. But, you know, not really playing any units. We're basically going from 2 to 4, saving th turn 3 for spell mana if we don't have Herald of Dragons. If we do, we can have Herald of Dragons into Shivana, and that would be nice. Um, trying out a couple, you know, a few different 4 mana spells. There's some really powerful ones in Demacia and Targon. We're going to go 1 Bastion, 1 Repost, 1 Golden Ages. Um, those are, that's just the, uh, you know, the spread that we got there. That's going to be our deck. Let's give it a try. Shivana Dragons. And we got aggro to start with. Lucian is here. So we'll see if we get Radiant Guardian and plus Fight Spell. I'll keep a single combat. We don't need to keep a second one. Dragon Chow. Dragon Chow can block Sand Soldiers. If they use like a single combat to kill like a Dragon Chow, it's still trading up on mana for us. Gotta use the earth emote. Alright, so our turn three is save mana. My name will echo to the ages. Remember this day. Glorious sacrifice. Good job, Dragon Chow. That was a glorious sacrifice. Okay, so here we go. So Shivana strike. Now it's a four five. We draw a card. Shivana attack, and then it'll be a five six. And now we have Fight Spell to go along with 5-6. Fight Spell can kill Azir and level up Shivana.
And that's a that's a turn four leveled up Shivana now. That's also much bigger because of Fury. Now we're talking. So it's a five five. No. Six six Shivana? Six six Shivana. Six seven Shivana, even better. See, this is a good upgrade for Shivana having that fury. That is nice. Okay, so we're going to strafing strike you and Actually, no. Let's just single combat you. First. And now we'll deal three and then get two more. Took down a lot of champions. And this game is over. That's why I wanted... That's exactly what I was saying is, is just pretty powerful. Just have Dragon Chow with Shivana and Fight Spells. That's why we're playing three single combat and three strafing strike. You can see from this game. Shivana with Fury is pretty sweet. Okay, Lissandra Trundle. So this is going to be a deck that will have hard removal for our dragons. That can go, that can go. This is a good start, but we need a dragon. But I think we keep it. Okay. I can see going turn three, Chow plus Herald, and just going like egghead on two, like nothing on one, egghead on two. Turn three, these two, and then turn four, Screeching. Hmm. I don't know if I just drop off Chow, turn one. They're out there. How I'm something of an aspiring ecologist. What a specimen. Come hither, you beasts of glory. Yep. Kind of figured that would happen. See, this Mantis is the coolest. Alright, so Screeching Dragon turns into a 5-6, but can't get Vengeance. Uh, but Screeching Dragon can kill, like, Trundle, right? Like, if their plan is, like, Trundle, we can actually challenge and kill Trundle with that. Fuse Firebrand, also bigger than Trundle, but can't, can't get Vengeance. Let's go with the dragon. The scree oh, they're both dragons with the screeching. All right, that feels like Troll Chant, doesn't it? Really wish I had one more mana and I could, you know, have Strafing Strike plus 
Bastion. They still have Shivana bugged. Next turn is going to be the really scary turn. They have the attack token. They have eight mana. Um, yeah, we can we can die next turn. It's possible. So if I go Bastion, it goes to five six. Let's see. Bastion doesn't keep it alive, does it? 5-6. If, if they bust up the spell shield. I don't know if I want to use the Strafing Strike. I guess I'll use this. I, I'd rather save the Bastion for, you know, Vengeance, Ruination, that, that kind of stuff. I'd rather just save Bastion. If I can. And that's, yeah, that's true. I guess, I guess maybe I just shouldn't have done this at all because they have to play. Yeah, for me to for me to die next turn, they would have to play. Um, Lissandra this turn. All right, so screeching dragon dead. That's fine. Level up Shivana. Level up Shivana. Alright, hopefully not a bunch of fading memories. And Spectral Warden. Spectral Matron. If I play you, I have five mana. So if I if I play a dragon, I got one spell. So do I want to play a dragon and only have one spell? Oh, they could definitely. Yeah, we don't know what they got in hand. But looks like they're going for this. Two. All right. So one card in hand costs eight plus mana. Is it worth using both Bastion and Hush? I have to use. Probably both of these to kill the Trundle. I would prefer this turn to simply just play the Mind Splitter. I'm gonna try that. This is my preference. No, that was the bad part. That was the bad part of this plan. Okay, well, good card. Opponent, good card. So Bastion plus Strafing Strike takes up 7 mana again. That's 4 other mana. That's not enough for Screeching Dragon. No Fading Memories there. That's good. That's very good, no fading memories. Just wasted a lot of mana that turn. I'll knock up one smack will do. Two, alright, so they drew... Before they had one card, so now they have two, so they drew something else that costs eight plus mana. Does feel like ruination, doesn't it? Um, I don't know. Your favorite star. I created it. He's magnificent. Okay, so they have three cards now that cost eight plus mana. Someone stopped. My word. I do love an audience. 
So three of those cards are eight plus mana cards. All right, good. Yeah, they kind of set themselves up to only have that one blocker. Did not have a vengeance. Yeah, like, I don't think they were... They weren't expecting me to be able to kill them right there, right? Like, they thought that they were going to be safe with, like, that blocker. I think that they were going to try to ruination. Like, they wanted me to... You know, like, th their plan was to block... Like, block an open attack, or if I play something before attacks, then they ruination, right? But the... The I use fight spell and swing for lethal play, they didn't have that covered. Back to Lucian Azir. It won't go as good as the first time, but hopefully we can still pull out a win. I mean, I love having Radiant Guardian, but we do need earlier stuff. I'm going to keep the Radiant Guardian, though. Look for early stuff. Okay. That will do. Buff. <laughs> Buff Dragon Chow. Attacking for zero. Sad. Do not see what is, see what will be. Really? Dragon Guard Lieutenant? Kind of showed up just like one turn previously. How am I gonna get this Radiant Guardian play? I haven't figured that out yet. I am more Cause see, yeah, like usually. Usually Shivana was Alright, so we're gonna have five four Shivana. I guess I gotta kill that. A dragon's Yeah, that Fury adding in this health the whole time, pretty na pretty nice. Still a 7-5. Destiny calls. Um, so I can either like sharp sight kill this thing, or I can strafing strike kill something. Kill like the inspiring marshal. I'll just do this, save a mana. I definitely need to kill the Azir like right now. I don't get to cast the strafing strike though, but. So. Alright, cool. But you know, like this is a a matchup where I think every mana matters. Win is a win. Ooh, Tom Kench Soul Raka. They're gonna have some hush for whenever we get some big dragons with Fury. Mulligan, Mulligan. Uh, Riposte is kind of nice though because their their things are like you know one sixes and two sevens or whatever. So Repose is kind of nice. Um, again, not great against Hosh, but well, I'll just send it back. Yeah, this this Dragon Chow Shivana combo has been looking pretty strong. All right, new prediction. I forgot to start that. My bad. There you go. The more we learn, the less we fear. You're still good to scrum? 
I'm kind of zapped. I'm glad for your help. There's much to learn in the field. You seem like you've got a lot to learn. Yeah, the level 1 Shivana did not have Fury before. It, level 2 Shivana did have Fury, but not level 1, so now minus 1 attack, get the Fury. That Fury's been pretty awesome. Alright, so yeah, they, they're passing, ready to use combat spells, which they, they got a bunch of combat spells. I think I still do this. So all they gotta do is, so like, like Guiding Touch... And then, what, I Sharp Sight, then they... Yeah, that works. Pill Cascade doesn't save it anymore. Hush Wood. So there's Soraka's leveled up. This Star Springs healed three times, and they have the Guiding Touch to heal the fourth. There's always room for Sopa. Sopa. You and I have been before, haven't we? Where there's a will, there's a will. Would be leveled up Shivana if this works. Witness my true power. So I hope they don't have Bastion. I guess well, I guess they can't really just like eat something immediately, but Oh, but then they have they have astral protection. I make shepherding look easy. Should I have such fascinating creatures? Should I just use the strafing strike right away? Alright, so Guiding Touch is the best they can have. This 4-3 would still kill through Guiding Touch. Let's grow the 4-3. Get it out of box to plus range. Great draw. That's kind of just what we want right now. We have all units. We need spells, so like fight spells. Perfect. So we'll take that. Deadly paths, just another day in Targon. That way, it's absolutely stellar. Success gets you noticed around here. And while these brought back protectors are good, they're not champion good. And I'm worried about champions. Full of danger, but I know them all. 
So they have, if I single combat with the Screeching Dragon, they have Pill Cascade that kills the Screeching Dragon, but the Screeching Dragon also does have Vulnerable. Yeah, I'll just go with the I'll just go over here. I'm trying to race Star Spring. Star Spring's at 14 right now. More fight spells, please. That's the worst draw in our deck. Pablo's been down. Let his knee out. The Star Forger himself. You rang. Sixteen. Astral protection would be another three. That's still another three, that's 19, so I kind of, I basically have to kill them this turn. I really wanted the eight mana obliterate all things with three or less power, that was the card that I wanted to find with Aurelian Soul. Perfect draw. Honestly, just the perfect draw. All right, well, this is the turn. If they got Hush, and they can Hush the Scourge. They have to have Hush. Well, now they have to have a second Hush. Okay, well now they have to have a third hush. And there we go. That's going to be a 4 0. Okay, this is going to be our toughest test. The really fast burn deck with a lot of nexus damage. This is what is definitely going to be the most difficult deck to defeat, I believe. Now we have Radiant Guardian and we got Fight Spells, which is exactly what you want with Radiant Guardian, but can we survive long enough for Radiant Guardian and can we have something die also? That's going to be kind of tricky. So let's get rid of the Strafing Strike. We're going to keep these three, though. Herald of Dragons does not help Radiant Guardian, and that is the worst card in the deck to draw. We're going Egghead. Ask me about dragons. I just may have an oh, that's the worst card to hit <laughs> with the Egghead. Oh, this is not going good so far. Yeah, so Draven's biggest fan will allow them to play Draven. Me too, kiddo. Me too. Shroud the world in wings. Shroud the world in wings. Time for the money makers. This is awesome. Do you see? Come back later. Now to eleven. So far, so good, though, as far as lining up with playing Radiant Guardian next turn with having, like, these cheap things. This is, so far, we, we've had about as good of a hand as we can, can have. You know, obviously, we don't have Siobhan, so it's not perfect, but we have a good hand for us. I know I had single combat there and I could have killed the Draven. I'd still I'd rather just have single combat for Radiant Guardian. I stand for I gotta 
work with this joker? <laughs> yeah, that that was the worst thing that could happen. Well, you know, like them just playing. Like I would, I wanted them just to open attack. Like that's that's what I wanted. I wanted them just to attack. So right now, I block three, block two. We take we take eight. Play Radiant Guardian, single combat Draven, gain four. Go to seven. The end of this world, it's not gonna do it because then yeah, you this Radiant Guardian. If Radiant Guardian was still a five five, but it's not. I do this, I go to seven. Could go to five and keep the Herald of Dragons alive, but I don't love that. Dragon Chow Shivana is sweet. Or some poros. Watch the fire breath this time. A soldier should know to stay out of the way. I don't want to trade my researcher for the house spider because they may have uh, something like Jinx that I need to block that it's more difficult to block. Well I don't have a fight spell. Virtue guides me. That worked out really well. That worked out so well. <laughs> so well. Don't unload your hand. Come on, attack with the Jinx. Uh, attack with the Jinx. Yeah. 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 I will end this here. What is this? This is your end. I'm going to six. I wouldn't be surprised if one of these other two cards is another Jinx. Oh, man. That kills me. Wow. Oh, they can't cast they can't cast Super Mega Death Rocket. So not quite dead yet. We couldn't cast that card. Man. <laughs> this burn deck's so scary. You will be scoured from this land. Who's ready to I need to draw a fight spell. Have to draw a fight spell. That's a fight spell. <laughs> Stop. I don't know why I didn't just cast Sharp Sight first. I guess I would have healed too, but... Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. I guess I didn't really want them to know about this though. Like if they're, like they're, they might have just gone with like the plan of like just attacking with those and then I'd Sharp Sight surprise them. All right, so eight. Stay back. That's my best block and that puts me at exact zero. Dang. I oh, would a sharp sight first. I would still be at two, but I don't know if we're winning that. Dude, like, yeah, that was incredible. Yeah, crazy game. We we drew well. We had a very good hand. We drew really well, but they still won. I think that's probably about the toughest matchup for this deck, though, too. And so that was a good sign that, that we were that, you know, that we 
we hung out, hung on that long because didn't didn't look too bad. But yeah, that was that was tough. Yes, if I would have sharp sided first, then concerted strike, I would have survived. Um, I kind of thought that if I would do that, they wouldn't attack, and I wanted them to attack. Um, but you know, then they ended up having you know, like the that other like the vision and that real big thing. And uh, yeah, so we would have survived at two, but I, I couldn't kill them really before the next time they attack. And it would have been incredibly unlikely that I, I can't even really imagine how I would have not died the next turn with the attacking unit. So even if I would have played the sharp sight first before concerted strike, I just don't really imagine I could have won anyway. If our really the main thing is like if our egghead researcher would have hit like a six or even like a seven cost or less dragon instead of the nine mana dragon. Like the nine mana dragon, I'm just going to play, right? Like, so if this just hit any, like any of the, like the dragons that cost like seven or less, I would have been able to play the previous turn, like whenever I couldn't do anything. I guess it had to cost six or less. So any dragon that cost six or less, which was a lot of dragons, would have been able to play there, would have had another blocker, and that would have really made a big difference. Um, but the fact that it hit, that we got the nine mana dragon, unfortunately, we just couldn't play that other turn um what do i think of one judgment in this deck i think one judgment helps that match up a ton but it's just a and it could help out with like lucian azir decks as well like that like those kind of decks but it's not a card that i really want it it yeah it's not really a card that i want <laughs> but it does help out those kind of matchups a whole lot but there's a lot of matchups i really don't want it and there's just most i think the majority of games i just don't want judgment and so therefore i don't want it in the deck but if Lucian Azir and like that kind of aggro and just like those kind of aggro decks become really, really popular and you play against them a bunch. That's a good call. That's that's where you, you tech in your your judgment to help out with with that matchup. That's a good call. Judgment really does help there a lot. Um, yeah, another champion could replace Aurelian Soul. I just didn't, I didn't really know what other champion I wanted to play, and, and I like the dragon stuff, so I played Aurelian Soul. And I, I was happy with Aurelian Soul in those games, but yes, you could you could definitely replace Aurelian Soul with a different champion if you want. If you're somebody that likes Zoe, Zoe's probably the best champion in the games. So Zoe could fit in here in the one-mana slot. It's, it's a great card. You can play Zoe, even like something like Diana um, or Fiora, Aphelios. All of those cards um, would work well. I wouldn't really want, like, garen or jarvin because i just i just don't i don't think you want more fives and sixes um but it, i think if you want you know like zoe lucian zoe diana lucian aphelios fiora those are all completely playable rune terra cards and you could play those instead if you want back to our deck shivana was incredible man shivana with fury was awesome i think i think this is the way to go with shivana i was i was really really impressed with dragon child plus shivana that was awesome um, yeah, I was just really impressed with Dragon Dragon Child just in general, and of course, I, like the single combats and strafing, strafing strikes were like two of our best cards, and like frequently later on in the game, that's like all we wanted were just single combats and strafing strikes, and you know having Dragon Child and then those with Shivana that looked really really good, and so that's what I would kind of recommend with Shivana's play three three three, that was awesome. The Dragon Guard Lieutenants did good too. I wouldn't mind finding room for another Dragon Guard Lieutenant. I don't know if we really need Hush. Um, or Golden Ages. <laughs> we didn't really, you know, Golden Ages doesn't seem like maybe it would be necessary. With with having all the fight spells, maybe Golden Ages isn't necessary. And maybe that could be another Lieutenant. Lieutenant was nice at the two mana, being able to kill some champions for us. So maybe, maybe another one of those instead of either like a Hush or a Golden Ages. All right. Uh, yeah, so the, yeah, Shivana was just frequently a 4-5 for us, right? Like, because it was... Like, it would kill the Dragon Child, be a 4-5, now it's attacking, it's a 5-6, now you use a Fight Spell, now it's a 6-7. Since we didn't do anything on turn 3, we had the mana for the Fight Spell with the Shivana, and, you know, now it's leveled up. Um, and then, you know, like, it's it's a leveled up 6-7 on turn 4. Uh, that happened multiple times, that was awesome. Alright, but anyway, that's Shivana Dragon's really good looking deck. Um, and, you know, Shiv new Shivana with Fury looks awesome. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Shivana Dragons, and I'll see you for the next video.